All right, guys, so I wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on with this Honeywell. Like I said, in, uh, when reviewing that Champion generator, this thing had pretty major issues. And just like the other generator, this one's got a bad inverter portion. Um, not No surprise there. It seems like Generac or Honeywell. Uh, Generac is Honeywell, by the way. Um, pretty much the same company can't seem to find a good inverter supplier this one is a little less it's still sealed where you need to access it it's got the capacitors out as you can see on the other one the capacitors are built into the board so you can't service them but this one is toast as well probably internal short somewhere unfortunately you can see some leakage right there from something uh, probably a capacitor but yeah the inverter on this is toast so that effectively makes this generator toast as well. And so I opted to kind of take it apart. Here's the carburetor, uh, nothing special there. It's got its little crankcase breather, uh, not crankcase, but gas tank breather for the fumes for California. Got your little digital um, throttle. But I've noticed some things uh, kind of taking it apart. Uh, first things first is the metal is very soft on all those all the um, hardware on it. Like if you go to undo a screw, you're going to end up stripping stripping the screw because it is so soft. It's uh, it just kind of melts. Like even with the screwdriver, like lightly pressing, it just strips the screws right out. Really cheap, um, weak metal. Uh, so I, I definitely had a lot of difficulty taking not necessarily the bolt heads but the screw heads the ones with the Phillips screws was kind of a pain to take off most of them I just had to work my way around find other ways to take it off so it's not very serviceable in that aspect another thing that really really caught me off guard I took it all the way down to the valves here because I was having some issues with uh, it felt like it was seized up so I took it apart and one of the first things I noticed here's the valve cover it's a overhead um, cam system here. I'll kind of turn the uh, flywheel for you a little bit. You guys can see. You can see it's overhead cam chain driven, which kind of surprised me as well. I thought it'd be belt driven like the Hondas, but it is chain. I would think if they were trying to make it quieter, they would go with the chain. I mean, a belt. Sorry, a belt is usually quieter than a chain. Although um, chains usually last longer. Not necessarily today, but um, usually chains last longer they stretch out though a little bit of issues looking at this here though really surprised me this is the valve cover goes on top here like that has a vent for the crankcase gases and in this vent I'll let my phone focus here if it will it's got like a little filter thing I'm take the correct light probably just get it there it goes and there's a filter, I would say, to prevent the oil from going out of the tube into the off-gas bottle, I guess, or rebreather re or reburner, whatever you want to call it. But as you guys can see, there's little metal shavings in there as a filter. And I thought that was just a crazy, crazy design there. I don't know why they would do that. Um, I would understand it, them trying to put a filter in there so oil wouldn't come out of this breather. But just metal shavings like this. They're not even, they're not like in there hardly at all. As you guys can see, maybe I can put up. You guys can see the metal shavings just kind of hanging out. It wouldn't take nothing for, come on, focus. It wouldn't take nothing for one of those shavings to fall off into the crankcase and just go down into the uh, bottom there. As you can see, it's just shavings of metal as a filter. That's a, I don't know. I, I see that as a horrible design. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. And it just looks like machine milling shavings from their mill machine. Probably when they uh, milled the surface of this. They just tucked them in there. That little, like a little piece of that going down the bottom of the crank uh, case where the crankshaft is would score some stuff up. Uh, getting some bearings maybe. Really screw stuff up. So I think that's a really, really poor design there. I don't know why they would do that. Maybe it's a cost saving measure, didn't want to buy a little filter or... I don't know, maybe somebody knows. But I have never seen that. And I just thought that was the stupidest design.
maybe, maybe I'm wrong, it, I'm, but that just doesn't look like somebody, that doesn't look good. And, I mean, they're supposed to be in there too, there's these little locking pins to try to keep it in there, but as you can see, it doesn't really stay in there. So moving on, uh, like I said, I'm kind of surprised there's a chain drive in here. Uh, this is a 5,000 RPM engine, which is a little higher than like a lawnmower. Most lawnmowers run at 3,600. So it is a little bit higher RPM. As you can see, it's kind of more shaped like a maybe a four-wheeler. It's got a round cylinder, a round cylinder fin. It's kind of interesting. Um, the castings on it are not that great. I mean, like the finishes, as you guys can see here. Um, Kind of rough finishes not really good quality like they put much craftsmanship into it as you guys can see maybe i came across my problem here um, i noticed this earlier it, the mount to the magneto is broken and i think that's what has been causing my um it's been hard to turn recently and it kind of locks up as you can see there's a Bent, something got in there, I guess, and jammed it up. But you can see it kind of broke it um, right off the. This is aluminum. So it's not necessarily super strong, but it just cracked it right off there and uh, pretty much ruined that piece. I mean, you could probably JB weld that back together, but it does look like. It does look really. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look good. That. That shouldn't have happened, that little crack. Especially with this machine only having like, this machine probably only has like 10 hours on it at most, and the 10 hours are probably just testing, like load testing, just keeping it running uh, every couple of months. And that's pretty pitiful. Uh, most of the plastics in it are like, you can see, it's falling apart. The, plastic that comes from China just doesn't hold up very well. But yeah, I think out of all this, these issues, this is probably the most concerning. I don't know why they would do that. Um, obviously the inverter is probably the, I guess the biggest issue really, because that's the second one I've gone through um, with the other generator. Yeah, right there. Having the same issues, but I think Generac uh, really, really, really needs to sort out some of their issues. They're really, um, I don't want to say screwing over their customers, but it really doesn't look good on them. And uh, if you go online and look at some of the reviews of their generators this size or the ones like that, this these inverter failings are very, very common, extremely common, and they really need to address this um, and if I would definitely not buy at least the um, the inverter style generac generators until they get their act together. Um, I would I would definitely I would definitely not buy one. And uh, you know, there's a lot of good at least Chinese generators. If you're looking for a cheap Chinese generator, there's a lot of good ones on the market out there uh, that compete with generac. And I definitely don't see the quality here in this. Just really poor build. Um, I'd like to see them address some of these issues. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys can see I've kind of made a mess here. Lots of stuff. Uh, just getting it down to here it takes probably an hour at least. Just because it's all little parts and pieces. And, uh, just be If you're going to take apart, be very careful around these. Uh, there's big capacitors down here. Be very careful around those and your electronics. Because those can kill you. Those are 450 volt capacitors. Just be careful if you're going to take it apart. And uh, there's not much serviceable in here. Um, you know, there's not much you can do if some of this stuff breaks. It's kind of a total loss. This one is just just as expensive as the other one. They're like 500 bucks or so. But yeah, Generac, you guys need to figure out some of your issues here and address them. But uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think.